Welcome to uh, the virtual presentation for the uh, Nashville Guild of Organists Home Residence Organs. This production will feature three individual unique instruments that are in people's homes. My name's Todd Milnar of Milnar Organ Company. Uh, we even, I've installed two of the three and we're at the home of Rocky Craft in Pleasant View, Tennessee. This instrument is, uh, was built in 1969 by the Wicks Organ Company out of Highland, Illinois. Uh, we installed it. It came from the University of North Alabama in Florence, Alabama, and we installed it about half a dozen years ago. The music department used it as a practice organ, and they no longer needed it at that location. So this particular instrument is uh, direct electric chest action, meaning that when the organist hits the key, it sends a DC current to the solenoid unit. This magnet, there's a leather pallet, this sits beneath each pipe. And when the organist hits the uh, key, it gives a DC current, about 12 volts, to this unit. It drops, it's pressurized, it's within the pressurized chest, drops down and lets the organ play, uh, the pipe play individually. And it's unified. So considering that it is direct electric magnets, um, you can have play the same set of pipes on all three divisions. So it's extremely versatile. And the other instrument later on in the program is the same way. This has, Wix was very unusual, just like theater organs, Wurlitzers. They decided just for show and also for students, because this was built as a practice instrument for students to see and visualize these are glass shades for the expression and uh, it's, it's a little showy and that's why theater organs are very similar to that. Also, this is five ranks. When we installed it, Rocky uh, contracted us to build, uh, install a Celeste, 49 note Celeste in the back, and uh, which complements the Gems one, I believe is the Gems mm -hmm. Extended trumpet. Extended trumpet. A digital <laughs> 12 note extension was added to the Fagat. And the Zimbal And the Zimbal ah, And ah. I, that was done when we installed it. In the shop. Yeah. yeah, in the shop. But it's unique. It's great to have uh, this beautiful space for this organ. And I've heard it played many times for Christmas programs, and uh, it's very enjoyable. And yeah, I'd like to introduce Mr. Rocky Craft, uh, who's going to demonstrate the instrument. Hello, and welcome. <laughs> <laughs> He's I told him I would not talk very much at all <laughs> because of my southern accent. <laughs> He's going to start out light and then show the colors of the instrument and uh, build to a crescendo.
Tennessee. Uh, this a little intro in for the uh, organ. This is a Delaware organ with a Allen uh, Renaissance console added in '94. The organ 2000. Or 2000, 2000. This Delaware organ was built in 1964 in Buffalo, New York, actually North Tondawanda. And my father, Dennis Milner, installed this originally in Sweet Prior uh, College in Virginia. Unlike the other instrument we saw earlier, uh, this is an electro-pneumatic instrument. It has pouches underneath each pipe, similar to this. When the organist hits a key, it sends 12 to 14 volt uh, uh, DC to this chest magnet. Each pipe that you see 
has a chest magnet, unlike a pallet magnet that opens up uh, a valve with a solenoid, this exhausts a channel that drops this uh, it, through the barometric pressure. This opens up that valve, which is pressurized chest, to barometric pressure uh, through this uh, hole through the channel. And so in other words, with being lower pressure outside than inside, this, this pouch drops, allowing the pressurized air to play the pipe. This particular organ during the neo-baroque time in the 60s uh, is uh, two and a half inches wind and open toe voicing, which is, is very delicate. Most of the regulation for all the pipes are at the mouth. Basically, the windways are very, very light, meaning that dust uh, uh, can kill the pipe, basically. That was kind of a fad time. No one's really doing open toe voicing at this time. Uh, there's, this is six ranks original, and now, the, uh, how many ranks do you have? Uh, combined with the Allen, it's um, 52 plus. Which is in the space of great acoustics, is, it, it'll be something else. Uh, basically, the console that was here before the Delaware was a two manual just with tabs. Now, of course, and it had no combination action, but uh, when this was added, you've got uh, many more tabs to, to deal with and, and divisional three. Basically, you've got a choir, post teeth, great post teeth, uh, swell, and the, the pedal with extended, the 16 foot flute plays in the pedal. Uh, extended, that's 97 notes, I think, or uh, it plays at 16, 8, and 4, and 1 and a third. 16, 8, 4, 2, 1 and a third. Okay. Quite unified. But this, that kind of action you can, uh, uh, gives the versatility of, of, of many, many different kind of combinations. And if, uh, you know, basically you can borrow, sometimes the bottom uh, will be playing at second C on certain flutes. This does have a four foot octave, an eight foot quint, and uh, the Gemshorn plays at C2, so, and the bottom is borrowed. So without further delay, would you like to say anything else about the instrument? Um, the uh, Allen organ um, had second voices on draw knobs in, the, in 2000, so you would uh, either uh, play all of the Allen together, all of its voices, or you could just do second voices or whatever. And so when I put the Delaware with it, I, had, I couldn't add draw knobs to the console because the factory, you know, is a factory product and you couldn't add draw knobs to it. So I had to use the second voices of the great division to take care of the pipe work. So all the pipe work plays on the great division. Well, wonderful. Well, looking forward to hearing it. Yes, when we left off, the guys said they wanted to hear a little bit of the pipe work by itself. So I'll just go through a couple of the colors that are there of the six ranks. And like I said, it's a roar flute that plays at 16, 8, 4, two, one and a third. And then there's a gems horn at eight, uh, a quenadina that plays at eight, extended to four, and then uh, a four rank mixture. So here's just the little color of the uh, eight foot flute, roar flute by itself. Here's with the quinidina added to it. Eight foot gems horn with it.
the independent uh, 61 note of the four foot octave added with it. the pipe work together alone by itself.
residence of James Jordan in Lebanon, Tennessee. And this particular instrument is a Randall Dyer and Associates uh, instrument of four ranks unit organ built in Jefferson City, Tennessee. Uh, it was originally for a, a home in Knoxville, and Mr. Jordan bought it in 90... 2015. 2015. And uh, the cases of cherry, the pipes are uh, brushed tin, 70% tin. That's why it's got a little bit of a, a it's not as shiny as, as without being brushed. The pipes on the side are very unusual. They're made of aluminum, uh, extremely light. This is a unit instrument of four ranks. And this particular instrument, the action is a direct electric action like we saw earlier uh, at Mr. Kraft's house. And uh, when the organist hits a key, DC current, this is a negative, the black wire, and the positive, it, the, the key gives through a rectifier a 14 volt current. And it drops this valve, letting the pressurized air to the pipe. It's uh, unified, meaning that it plays within uh, uh, most stops or on both manuals and the pedal. Uh, it's closed toe voicing, unlike the nail Baroque instrument we saw earlier at uh, Mr. Kraft's house. And uh, the wind pressure, I'm not sure. I'm what not is sure the wind either. pressure? Okay. It's fairly light, but very colorful. And you can tell it has quite a bit of chiff on the flute. Which is a style of voicing for flutes to give a little more character, um, and it fits the well uh, the, the room very well, and it's beautiful. And um, uh, I, I I would say that it was built for this room, but <laughs> uh, and I guess that's uh, about it. Uh, Mr. Jordan, would you like to present? And okay, well, I've really enjoyed having the instrument here. Uh, I never thought that I'd have a pipe organ in my home. Uh, I really have enjoyed it. It is outfitted with a tracker touch feel. Uh, keys are maple and rosewood. And uh, I've really enjoyed having it here. And uh, I've, anytime any of my AGO friends would like to come out and play it, I would love to have them to come out. And just one note about this very special pipe in the center. It is non-speaking. When, when that is, was constructed, the, the metal was laid flat and scribed on the inside of the pipe and then formed with different types of uh, mandrels to create that the, the design, basically. And if it did speak, it would not affect the speech. It, it would sound like a regular pipe, but it's very beautiful and decorative.